Good morning students and parents. Welcome to Standard 1. Today we will study English grammar from Grammar Roots book. We will begin chapter number 11, Adjectives. What are adjectives? Words that describe the quality of a person, place, animal or thing are called adjectives. In short, we can also say that Words that describes a noun are called adjectives. For example, smart boy. Here smart describes the quality of the boy. Red balloon. Here red describes the color of the balloon. Big room. Here big describes the size of the room. Round ball. Here round describes the shape of the ball. Five. Birds. Here five describes the number of the birds. An adjective also describes how someone or something looks, tastes, feels, smells or sounds like. For example, beautiful girl. Here beautiful describes the look of the girl. Sour grapes. Here sour describes the taste of grapes. Soft cushion. Here soft describes the feel of cushion. Fresh fragrance. Here fresh describes the smell of fragrance. Loud music. Here loud describes the sound of music. Next, we will see the exercises from a book. Chapter 11, page number 41. Please pay attention here. Put adjectives in the blank spaces. Here a few sentences are given with blank space in each. Grapes are, so you have to put in suitable adjective here. Grapes are sour. Mangoes are juicy. Like this you will work this out. Next, fill in the blanks with suitable adjectives given in the box. Here you can see a box with few adjectives. You have to choose suitable adjective from here and fill in the blanks. I have dash balloons. I have many balloons. Coleman has dash dog. Coleman has a faithful dog. Next, underline the adjectives in the following sentences. Here a few sentences are given. You have to underline the adjectives in these sentences. The elephant is a big animal. Here, big is an adjective as it describes the size of the animal that is an elephant. Have you seen a white cow? Here, white describes the color of cow. Now we will see chapter 16, picture reading. We also call it as picture comprehension. In picture comprehension, you will be given a picture. You have to look at the picture carefully and then answer the questions. You can see a house here, few trees, river, a rock and a sun. Now we will see the question. How many windows do you see in the picture? One, two, three, four. I see four windows in the picture. What color is the door of the house? The door is brown, so you will write, the color of the door of the house is brown. Can you see the sun in the picture? Yes, I can see the sun in the picture. There is a rock in the river. Please pay attention here. Here a full stop is given. So this is not a question, this is a statement. And you have to answer either true or false. So if you can see, see a rock here, you will answer true. Otherwise, false. We can see a rock here, so we will answer true. Is there a chimney in the roof of the house? Here you can see the chimney. Yes, so you will answer. Yes, there is a chimney in the roof of the house. Now we will see the exercise from book. Look at the picture and then fill in the blanks with the following words in the box. Here you can see a box. Few words are given in the box. You have to look at the picture carefully and then choose the word from the box and fill in the blanks. First sentence. 
skills. The woman is dash the chair. Where is the woman standing? She is standing behind the chair. So what will you write? You will write the woman is behind the chair. Next, the fan is dash the bed. Where is the fan? The fan is on the bed. So you will write the fan is on the bed. The milk is dash the jug. Where is the milk? It is in the jug. So you will write the milk is in the jug. The cat is dash the table. Where is the cat? Cat is under the table. So what will you write? The cat is under the table. You have to complete these exercises in your grammar roots book. The answers will be uploaded later on your website for you to clarify your answers. Thank you and have a nice day.